It's been so long since I've played this that the FOV is on 90 and not 85. Okay. Am I going to regret this? Maybe. I did not mean to do that. I've changed my keybinds in the official hardcore. I've got to remember how you do that now. Why is the sensitivity at 77? Okay. So, quick update on the team. Mainly for me, because since I haven't played this, I think the last episode was, what, three or four weeks ago? Stubble is still here. Cubone is on the team. Why does it look like that? Uh, okay. We're like a minute into this episode, and there's already a legendary. I'm realizing that these guys need some nicknames, so... Lonester. Krabby. Mr. Krabs. Okay. And then Sableye is gonna be... You know, it's on my mind now. Um... Naming him Patrick. Now, a third of my team is a Spongebob reference. So, new additions of the team. We've got Lonester, um, Mr. Krabs, and Pat- Where is there a- Why is Stubble almost dead? I need to go heal then. I need to do some training, and also find another gym, because the level caps in this are not nice. Who here has a quest? Can you find a legendary stronghold? Okay. Why is there a Tauros? I didn't know you spawned here. Wait, 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 I have an idea. But it requires him staying in the ball. I am very low on Pokeballs. Okay. Where did that even go? Where is this thing's hitbox? Now I've got to wait for him to move so I don't start a battle when I pick these up. There we go. You're not even gonna be that good in this. I'm like five seconds into this and I'm already losing brain cells. I'm gonna catch this thing. Why is the Meowth chasing me? Please don't accidentally hit Meowth when I'm- You know what? Meowth? You wa- You wanna go, Meowth? You wanna go? Headbutt this bad boy. You, you decrease my attack, but you know what? It doesn't matter, cause you're dead now, you- Grimy little cat. Critical hit, too. Oh, wait, Stubble's gonna evolve now, right? Yes! I don't know if I should do this, because I'm gonna lose Runaway, I think. Well, I guess I don't even have the option to cancel, so... What was gonna happen last time has happened here. Stubble is now a Grand Bull. What ability does it have? Um... Quick Feet! Why?! That's... That That's... Really useless. <laughs> it's so bad. It doesn't even have Intimidate. Like, that would be actually useful. Wait, where'd the Tauros go? No! I wasted so many Pokeballs on that. I only just realized if Stubble levels up twice, I can't use it anymore. I need this Kadabra off my team. Because it's just gonna die. The Hiten is level 16. There's not much of a difference there. And the Fairy types are repeat. That. Wait, when did I catch the Tauros? What? You wa you wanna go, Meowth? You wanna go? Headbutt this bad boy. I didn't realize that I caught it. I... Okay. What are this- What are these moves? Tim the Tauros is replacing Y. That's Hey Tenna. That's not what I meant to do. Alright, so now Tim's on the team. I am going to kill myself from fall damage. Alright, so I didn't realize but I should be able <laughs> why? Why, am, why am I floating? Well, regardless of how cursed this looks, oh my goodness, this is slow. I need to go find it. Oh my goodness, the turning on this is disorienting as heck. Uh, I'm gonna go overseas. Maybe I'll find a shiny. That tends to happen when I'm near the ocean. Is that a Huntail? Why does it look like that? There is a Magikarp submarine over here. A, wait, a barrel. Hmm. What useless items await me in here? Okay, that is actually cool. I want that in real life. And a Nevermelt Ice for the ice type that I definitely have. 
Well, this has so far been actually pretty useless. Why did? Why do I have? Wait, what? A Porygon leg? Where did I? What? <laughs> I didn't know what that. Why? Can you build a Porygon? If I get the other Porygon pieces, do I get to have a Porygon? <laughs> why? Why do I have that? And where did I get that? And how long have I had that? I don't like how I can just see things swimming in the water. It's... I was gonna say it's giving me Jurassic Park vibes, but... That doesn't really happen a lot in Jurassic Park. Alright, what do we got here? Just gonna break in. I have... Orange chair now, let's go. Why am I even looting these things? It's absolutely useless. Now this is a raid that I can beat. Alright, we have a freaking magic carp and a Tojepi. You know, I have a hard time keeping track of the little... What do you even call this? The text? I have trouble keeping track of all this when I'm in like a 1v1 battle. When it's a 4v1, I have literally no clue what's going on. My brain cannot process this this. Now the question is should I catch the Azuru? Honestly, I don't think I'm going to because I have, I have two water types already. I did get a rare bone though, so I should be able to sell that. And I have no idea which direction I need to be going. We've hit land. It's a desert for some reason. I seem to be in these things a lot. Helioptile! That is a Pokemon that I never ever see. Wait, 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 what level is... Level 26? <laughs> no way. Yeah, 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 beat Helioptile. You get Glowstone from killing those. I really didn't need to go into the nether at all, did I? Alright, how is this Meryl looking? Level 7. I think you've got a date with Mr. Krabs, my friend. The amount of things that I say that you can take out of context and it sounds so stupid. It's ridiculous. Another old fisherman. I don't remember what this guy says, and I also wanted to do my old man voice again, so... I'm an old hand at fishing, so let me know if you want some- I can't read. If you want an assessment of your equipment. Crabby, please don't die to a diglet. How you did no damage to him! Come on, Cra Mr. Krabs, come on. I gave you the best nickname you could ever give a Krabby. And I got dirt for that. Put it down there. I should have brought a bed with me. I, <laughs> I messed up. Oh, we have Pokemon Center. I messed up at the perfect moment then. Why did I decide to do this series in the first place? That's a level 26 trap inch right there. This is a freaking Master Ball. Focus Sash is actually pretty useful, not gonna lie. Alrighty. How I'm just gonna bust in through the window. Hello, there's no one- Um... I- I just- I- I... Spent an entire episode... Trying to get a PC. How long... Have there been PCs... In these random Pokemon centers that just spawn around the... That just show up randomly? How long has this been here? I am just idiocy at its finest. Why don't I notice these things? I mean, I did say in a previous episode that my attention span is microscopic. I I'm not even in areas that are gonna spawn a village, which is what I need to find a gym. And then when I find a gym, what am I even gonna do? Oh wait, a village! I don't think it's gonna have what I need though. What am I even gonna do in this episode? I always just end up losing my mind like an hour and 30 minutes. That right there is a gym! As I was saying, I usually just record for like an hour and a half. Because... That's as long as I can go before I just completely break. <laughs> There's Malasadas in this? Why are the Ultra Balls so flippin' expensive? Jeez, dude, I'm not buying anything from you. What? <laughs> There's Pokemon cards in this? What? Look at me actually using water. 
I've gotten a little bit better at this game ever since I started playing it a long time ago. I'm gonna have to go find something that can beat ice types. I could use Tauros, but Pokemon are gonna be high level. I level some Electrike. 22! Wait, 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 wait. There could be a lot of water types in there. There we go, caught an Electrike. Pretty sure I don't already have one. So now I need to stock up on more Ultra Balls and go back to the desert and find... I didn't mean to use the Pokeball. I thought I was holding my water bucket. I need to keep in mind that even if I catch like a level 25 fire type, it, it's going to level up higher than 25 by just fighting gym trainers. Gotta be a fire type out of night, right? Really anything good against ice that's at least around level 20 is good. Scraggy's... Scurpy, I'd hate to break it to you, but you are... Uh, not good against ice. Look how many waypoints I have. I think those are all waypoints. Sizzlipede! How are you doing, sir? And you know what? You're also good against ice. Sizzlipede, get back here. You know, I could have started this with a bonus chest that might have given me an experience share. I'm only just realizing that. That would have made things so much easier than painstakingly grinding Pokemon. I'm not even gonna use, like, any of these Pokemon. The second I get better options, Big Bug, Lone Stir, Patrick, and Mr. Krabs are getting booted from the team. Shockwave. That's electric. Rock Tomb. It's good against ice. Flame Wheel. Okay, I didn't even realize, but... You have Fire Fang, that's, that's good. Okay, we've got some good stuff going on. Okay. Oh my goodness. I've had a bed sitting in my inventory this entire time. <laughs> Wait, I need to come up with nicknames for these guys. So for Aron, we're gonna go with the really generic Aaron. Sizzles, cool. And Electric. Um, Eli. Roly Coley is another Pokemon good against ice. Really good if it evolves. Really, really awkward terrain. I hate this place. Why can't you jump that? This is like trying to use Weirdeer on a mountain in Legends Arceus. Okay, so... Inventory is really full. I don't think Sizzles is going to survive this. Um, Snover. Oh, that would be so good to kill with Sizzles! Ah! Okay. Sizzles. We need to have a talk. You just joined the team. And I am right next to a biome that I'm pretty sure spawns several fire types. I'm not actually that certain because you're the only one that I found there. You are sitting on a mere 18 HP. You are a bug fire type against a grass ice type. All you've got to do is smack that thing in the face with a flame wheel. We'll see what happens after that. It, I, I'm realizing it's set up, it has snow warning, so it is now hailing. So if, even if you get knocked down to like 2 HP, you're still gonna die. But that is a sacrifice I'm willing to make because I have been talking to you when you can't even hear me because you're just a 3D model. Uh, wh where am I going with uh, just flame wheel? We killed the Snover, look at that! Sizzles is the MVP! Yo, I'm so glad that the whole Sizzles thing worked. Cause I was- I spent- I wasted like an entire minute just talking to her. Sizzles is not leaving the team until Sizzles is dead. Now that I've said that, she's probably gonna die in this upcoming fight, but you know what? It's fine. That's a spiel. However, this is why we brought Eli, because Eli, he doesn't go... Okay, um... He can survive one more hit, though, and get a shockwave off. Never mind, Eli has... He... he... <laughs> that was his first ever fight. And I was trying to hype him up so much. 
<laughs> then he just died before he could get a hit off. How is the first Pokemon to die in this from a flippin' spiel? I look so dumb right now. All right, Tim, let's see what you're made of, buddy. No, let's set up a workup. All right, I can take a couple of- I did not mean to click workup, but Tim, why? It has a citrus berry! I hit my microphone too, and I also spit everywhere when I said that. That is a little bit too low HP for my liking. Doubles taking the hits, doubles taking the hits, headbutt the- headbutt the spiel. Critical hit and everything, good job. All these people say no way when I beat them. You murdered- you murdered Eli. <laughs> Barely got a chance to live! You know, as I go back to that Pokemon Center with the PC in it, we just need to take a moment of silence. That didn't make sense. I didn't mean to heal the team, because Eli is- he's- I'm not allowed to heal him. So now what? Zora is high level. Okay, you're on the team. I'm gonna throw sizzles at this guy. Starts with a snover. Let's go. Flame wheel. He's Dynamaxing! Sizzles is gonna die. Okay, you know what, Patrick? I'm sacking you off, pal. Patrick's immune! Shadow Sneak is a priority move, right? He withdrew Snover into a Sneasel? Patrick, I'm sorry, pal, but... You were so close to victory. I don't want to risk someone else taking damage, and then this creepy dude having some really buff Pokemon later, and, like, Stubble being too weak to, to handle it. Withdrew into a snow run. Okay, that doesn't make that much of a difference, other than the fact that the dang thing didn't die. He has another snow run. You are. You have a lack of variety. He's got three layers of spikes up. He's sending out a Delibird. Stubble's grown to level 26, but by hardcore Nuzlocke rules, which this kind of is, I'm allowed to use it because it leveled up in the gym battle. Taking that to my advantage. Fire fang this dumb bird. Since when does flippin' Della Bird learn Destiny Bond? If one of its parents is an Inke or a Malamar, it learns Destiny Bond. Why does Della Bird breed with Inke or Malamar? What else is there? Okay, the spikes, I forgot about the spikes. Sneasel, we're back to here. Instead of using Workup, I should be using Tail Whip. Because the effects on Sneasel will be the same. But if Tim goes down, my other Pokemon can benefit from the Tail Whip. Why does Knockoff do so much? You're a dang Sneasel. You withdrew Sneasel into, into a Snowbird, oh my god. But I landed a crit. There's a chance that I outspeed this thing. Never mind. Okay, Tim's dead. I just watched half of my team get murdered. Why- why is the game taking so long to do anything? Is that a shiny skip loom or is that a boss? I can't do anything. It says choose a new Pokemon to send out. But I can't choose anything because it's not giving me the option. What? It's going to happen when I log back into the world. Kicked me out of the fight, and half my team is dead. I was about to say, but you know what? Screw that, I'm going back into this. But then I realized, Stubble is still level 26. You know what? Screw that! I'm breaking the rules today! If I could hit this guy. Alright, we're doing this fight again! Because you're playing unfair, buddy! With drawing into a snow run. He's scared! Oh, okay, you're Dynamaxing Snow Run. I guess- I don't know why I thought you could only Dynamax a specific Pokemon. Max Guard, that's- that's great. You're dead anyway, good job. Della Bird. I know what this thing's gonna do. Fire Fang, Ice Punch, does kind of a lot of damage. I need to heal. Alright, Sneasel dead. Stubble's level 27, we're gonna ignore that. Easy Oko, alright. I honestly don't care if Stubble dies, because I'm technically cheating at the moment, so... If Stubble dies, Stubble dies. Uh, Snover again? Oh. How did he survive on one?! Wait, I won the battle! 
It's double level 28. I think the iceberg badge is what you get for beating the dude in X and Y that I don't remember the name of. I, I really don't even know what to say about that because I had to stop the battle halfway through. I had to forfeit, restart the battle, but half of my team died from the first one. And basically everything that happened in the first one, like the deaths, carried over. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm not going to use any of the Pokemon on my team. On the bright side, as it rains, um, Battle Hex is back on the team. Goliath can join again. Um, I'll bring Lone Stir back for the time being. This Hatena can come. And I guess Voltorb. 